Sup, Gloomers? We are back. We just completed Scenario 1, and now we're moving on to Scenario 3, uh, The Frozen Hollow of Gloomhaven 2nd Edition. Some people may recognize the scenario and go, how is that Scenario 3? And the answer is, it just is. So we're going to be running through this. We're still going to be level 1, but we're going to swap out a little bit of the, the cards to fit the scenario and to represent that we've done some scenarios. We've all gained just a couple items uh, to represent us getting some gold, as well as we got a pretty handsome amount of loot from the first scenario. So uh, we're going to do some introductions, and we're going to go over to a little bit of the changes, and then we'll just get right into the scenario. So first of all, playing the bruiser is, once again, Bill. Nice to meet you, Bill. The keeper of the yeah, FAQ. Hello. Yep. Uh, great. Uh, hi, I'm Bill. Yep. Um, dwarf is usually what I go by online. Uh, hi. Good to be back. Thank you, Bill wonderful introduction. I will, of course, be playing the Craigheart. I think everyone knows me. I may have forgotten to say, may have forgotten, forgotten is a new word, may have forgotten to say. My name's Alice, but I think a fair few people who tune in are pretty aware of that, so. Uh, Alice or Alessandra, but it doesn't matter. Uh, on the Tinkerer, we have Greg. Uh, thanks for joining us, Greg, our favorite 3-3 three, three green uh, creature token. <laughs> thanks for having me back, Alice. It's, uh, I'm, I, the first scenario was an absolute blast, and this one's probably not going to be quite as much fun, but it's still going to be fun, so we'll see. No, I have ultimate faith that it's going to go great. Be sure to re reset your experience, guys. I just realized that. Oh, and, <laughs> of course, and on the Spellweaver, again, we have Sam. Sam, thank you for being amazing, and welcome back. Hey, how's it going? Thoroughly amazing, and so are you. Woo! All right, so... Um, so we have the Frozen Hollow. As we can already see, we have wonderful living spirits, hounds, and we'll also have frost demons later in the scenario. So we're going to make some changes. So, Bruiser, do you want to go over some of the items you caught and maybe some adjustments you're making to your cards if you want? Uh, absolutely. So I uh, got a chest. I don't know what it is, but for sake of argument, we're going to assume uh, it had a bunch of money in it. Uh, and in the intervening scenarios, I have purchased a heater shield and an amulet of life. Uh, but these two are going to satisfy my tanking role, I think, pretty well. Now, as for cards, uh, looking at the enemy list, I do see living spirits. And living spirits are a perfect uh, target for trample. But in order to put in trample, I need to take something else out. Uh, and I am going to take out where to go. Uh, Leaping Cleave. Now, this worries me a little bit, because Leaping Cleave is one of my move threes. But I have Weathered Boots, I have a move four, I have a different move three, and hopefully that will be enough to get us through this very long scenario. Um, otherwise, I am going to continue with the kind of tanky approach that I was taking in the first one, and hopefully it goes better, and I don't get peppered by archers in the second. Alright, hopefully less pepper. Um, yes. <laughs> I'm still going fairly aggressive with my crack heart, but I did get leather armor as a defensive measure, and simple blow bow as an offensive tool. Uh, in this scenario, I still want to bring, like, the uh, ranged attack and petrify, and ultimately there's a couple cards I think I could see dropping, but I think we're going to drop opposing strike because I wanted to bring earth and bulwark. I do want avalanche, but again, I feel like this is... there's. With the Retaliate, you're going to have to either rely on killing things. Some of these are kind of weak, and the heal, I, I just don't think there's a spot for it. But there definitely is a spot for Earth and Bulwark, especially for these early rooms where there's going to be lots of enemies, and we can, like, maybe funnel them down, you know, 300 style. So that's my plan. What's up, Greg? Did you talk about your items? Uh, yeah. Oh, I guess I missed that part. Okay. Oh, yeah, so the items I took with my money were I bought a shield, um, because I still, from the very... Uh, Going back to Gloomhaven 1, uh, my wife plays in my party that's uh, still going on right now, and her first character was the Tinkerer, and we like to joke, someone just clicked, uh, someone just drew an attack card for the monster. Um, we all like, like to affectionately call it the Tinkerer because uh, in Gloomhaven 1, um, our party, our starting party did not take the Brute, and it did not take the Crag card, so we had a relatively low hit point uh, party. And so my wife, as the Tinker, ended up uh, tanking every once in a while. So now, uh, definitely don't need to do that so much uh, with, the, with the, the big, big, big improvements to the Tinker. But I feel like um, even with the tanky brute, uh, we have a mostly ranged attacking uh, crag card. And even though the crag card has high hit points, I still want uh, I still want to feel like I can roll in there and take a hit every once in a while if I need to. And uh, of the starting prosperity one items. 
uh, that seemed like the shield was the best thing to take, and then a healing potion to kind of complement that along with uh, the shield. You know, I'm full free to take a hit, but uh, most of my healing cards I would prefer to use on my allies, so just having a selfish healing potion for when I need to heal myself and someone else in the same turns felt like the right idea. Um, as for cards, um, I don't really want to switch out any of these cards, but for the purposes of this video, I want to use different card, at least one different card than I used for uh, Scenario 1. And I was going through my choices, uh, and I really don't want to lose any of these cards, honestly. Um, I'm going to pull out uh, Stun Shot, and I know that's probably going to be people like, what? That's a non-loss stun! And even with the nerf, there's no attack on it anymore. Um, the bottom doesn't give me a lot of mobility, even though I like looting. This is a much longer scenario, so I want uh, definitely want more mobility. Uh, the initiative is really great, but I just feel like I'm not going to focus on looting as much as we would in other scenarios because we got to keep moving. Um, and what I'm going to do, and what I'm, what I'm going to replace it with, is a slightly faster initiative. I'm actually going to take Volatile Concoction here. And the reason for this is because even though most of us have pretty uh, large hand sizes, obviously the Spellweaver is a small one, but you know, they're surviving either. Um, I, I feel like in a longer scenario where we're going to need more rounds, I'm going to do this top action here where I can give my allies uh, basically a stamina potion. I feel like that would be, uh, or a minor stamina potion, I feel like that would be uh, much more useful in general uh, than a stun. Sounds very good, thank you. Uh, Sam, what did you do? Alright, so for items, I talked earlier about how the Scouting Lens was a good choice. Since we've got these Living Spirits, it ends up being an excellent choice. We'll be able to find value out of it right away. Nothing else I'm really excited for. Leather Armor is nice in case I ended up taking a stray hit, so I decided to go with that. With the Prosperity 1 items, I would honestly, on most spell weavers, recommend just starting to save your money for a pretty sweet enhancement. Uh, but we're only playing this one scenario, so obviously we're not going to do that here. As far as cards go... Hmm. So, Ice Armor, still definitely a cut here. No question about that. Doesn't make sense in a four-player party to bring Ice Armor, I think. Again, I still... I think, I think I'm think i not changing my cards at all, honestly. I I had a question of, of whether or not I was going to try to rotate out Frost Strike, but I think I've been able to find a good use for the top and the bottom when I have a spare element. So I think we're actually going to... We're going to leave my cards the same this time around. I think it'll be okay. Sounds good. Alrighty. So now we have our little starting layout with us four wonderful people up here, and I think it's time to it's time to strategize, guys. But yeah, like I, what I was saying about earlier, I think the first thing is dropping rocks and going. I'm gonna try to go very early, and I'll drop some rocks. We're gonna wait to see what you guys pick and what the enemies draw, and I feel like that's going to uh, determine where I place them. But I'll be able to drop a couple obstacles and hopefully. Uh, funnel them down to a more contained area. I think the worst case scenario is like dropping them like there, so they can only fight us one at a time, but we might be able to place it more aggressively depending on how we position. Uh, I think what... Sorry, Alice, how fast are you going? Uh, uh, Craghart fast. Okay. Sorry, Sam, go ahead. <clears throat> I think what I'm going to end up doing for myself here is I'm going to give a shield out to someone so they can deal with what happens in this first room. Uh, and I'm going to prepare to do a nice loss next turn. We'll see whether it's an immobilize or whether it's a, just a big attack. But I'm going to I'm gonna probably not get a ton done this turn because I want to I give them a chance to clump up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Alright, well I'm going to do my standard opener, which is I'm going to give everyone adjacent to me, I'm going to my fastest initiative, giving everyone adjacent to me uh, shield one, and then I'm going to try to poison this or whatever's in range. Oh, you're, 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 you're great. Thank you. I'm glad you are poisoning it. <laughs> for let's run it. For other reasons next round. All right, let's go. So for the um, bruiser, we have eye for an eye and warding strength. For the Cragheart, we have unstable upheaval and earthen bulwark. For the tinkerer, we have flamethrower and toxic bolt. And for the spellweaver, ember frost and flame strike. Hounds drew nothing special, that's pretty optimal. And consume ice for stun, so... Uh, oh no, well, I guess I'm not uh, making ice then. Um, yeah, I, I don't think there's Wait, a are way... Wait, are they getting in range? Are they getting in range. in range? No, we're fine. Hold on, they're moving minus one. So, if it moves... Yeah, yeah. so they can they... only get up to there. Whoa. 
if we stay yeah we should we should be fine yeah i I think we don't position ourselves aggressively then because we could have potentially done stuff but i think we don't but go ahead spellweaver you can you can use ice and i don't think they're well the hounds are still not yeah but they're not going to get any closer than that so yeah who's the one that's taking the hits this turn it's the bruiser right i believe so cool uh then i will give my ice to the bruiser uh, and by my ice, I mean my shield. I will strengthen myself as well. All right, strengthen the uh, spellweaver, shield the bruiser. All right, bruiser, go cruiser. I'm so sorry. And dwarf, you're <laughs> muted here. Yep, yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, I kept on trying to talk, and I'm like, why is everybody talking over me? And now I understand <laughs> it's because I was muted that whole time. Okay, so we're going to start. I'm going to put up the top of eye for an eye, and I'm going to put up the bottom of wording strength. Now, wording strength has been buffed since first edition. Uh, Not only is it shield one, it's shield one retaliate one, which feels a lot better for a loss card. You know, kind of tanking up. I got shield two retaliate two this round, and uh, some extra stuff going on. So that's it for me. All right, um... So how far are these hounds moving? Four? Uh, five uh, for the elite. All of it. Five? Yeah. So do you only want to retaliate once this round? Uh, I don't care, man. So let's see. Let's see how much we can possibly clump them, right? Because we can, we can line up these rocks as we like. Uh-huh. If we... That's oh, number one. Dang it. Uh... Well, the elites go first. So yeah, one, yeah, two, three, to... four, five. This elite goes there. Mm-hmm. The next elite will go there. Right. Um, I was thinking we could maybe leave a spot open to give the rest of them focus, but Hound 1 just fills it so fast that it doesn't even matter. So we can't we can't realistically get the clumping. Yeah, I, if we just want to go full aggressive and take yeah. out those two, that might hurt us for getting through the room later. Um, but we, it all sh- jump. we all have jumps, right? I've got jump. I can, yeah, I can I have a few jumps. be nice and safe and just kind of wail on stuff. I guess I'd be taking the living spirits potentially. Yeah, I'm, I totally agree that on these two spots, but if I'm not voted, I won't. I, mean, I think I, I'm I'm genuinely worried that will hurt us in the long run, just because Me having too. only one spot, not even the walling us off, but walling the hounds off that aggressively means they'll be coming and it's such a slow stream, right? We don't really, yeah. we, we would have to be able to then like kill one, wait for one to walk up, kill one, wait for, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little worried that's too slow. Yeah, so. What about, what about these two then? That leaves two spots open. I think that's probably okay. It means yeah. that I'm not going to be able to get a good loss off next turn. But no. Well, um, how far can you go, Craig? How far? What do you mean, how far can I go? How far can the rocks go? Uh, three, I think. Okay. So, I mean, yeah. could do one here to funnel. I don't know if, how big a difference that would make. but Hold on. Let me, let me think that. here and here. That's still... Yeah, There's still... Good. No, they, we still get three at three through okay putting, putting one here uh like just to create a little bit of an extra oh there you go yeah a little door stop but they still have a way to get through we'll funnel a lot of them out so then when one comes to here and one comes to here the rest of them suddenly have to walk through this path to get to anyone else i think that's yeah. probably the best bet yeah, is we do like not... this and like do i just drop do i just drop one then Honestly, one might even be fine. Yeah, that's what I'm starting to think. That was that was my thought. So, uh, how about I just drop one more? Where's our obstacle? Yeah. Uh, we can grab that's one it. from your yeah. Or that. Yeah. Cool. All right, we're going to drop okay. that there. Um, yeah, I sh- think what this means, one, two, three, four. Should I yeah, move we'll, up we'll there? Have... Or should I want... hold off? One, one, we're going to have three hounds to work with this turn. We're going to have one here, here, and and here, I think. Uh-huh. Um, I think that you should not go to here. Because if you go to here, then the hound goes to here, and we have the same problem. They stop moving. Yeah, yeah, you, uh-huh. And they go to correct. here, and we leave this as a focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's correct. Because then yeah, we want them to that. keep funneling in. That, and I can and, and also, really nicely. Also, you're more, well, I don't think you'd actually get stunned. Well, you could get stunned if you go up there. You don't want to do that. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm holding still. Oh, we're going to pass this over to the Tinkerer. Yeah, this seems perfect. Okay. All right, well, yeah. I'm going to... I'm not changing anything. I'm going to give everybody, uh, all all adjacent allies uh, and self, I'm going to give us all shield one. So I have a I'm shield gonna... four this round, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be 10 out of Yeah, you should be in good shape. 
Yeah. And then I'll poke this hound for two with poison. So one, only one damage, but I give it poison. And we have Earth for someone who may or may not be able to use Earth next round. That would be great. Okay. Hey. So hound time. So we've got the hounds are moving five on the elites. One, two, three, four, five. One, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five. That'll be two attacks on Bruiser. But let's finish moving them all first, because we've got some more to go. So we've got we the normal hounds going four. One, two, three, four, as expected. That's one attack onto Tinker. And then these ones, one, two, three, four, one, and one, two, three. This is awesome. Yep. yep. That's, That's fantastic. really good. I good. can do five attacks next round. Wow. Yeah. Good. No, yeah, 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 five. I, uh -huh. I, I may be able to get a... Uh, yeah, I can get a four target uh, immobilize next round. Fantastic. So All right. We are feeling good. All right. Yeah. So the living spirits... Uh, let's let's will run be... the attacks real fast. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead and take two attack threes into their billion shields. So no damage and no damage. Yep. On each so... I'm only going to count one tap of warding strength here. That one takes two damage from retaliate. The other one only takes one damage. From retaliate. That works out great. Um, because we were able to reduce the damage of the first one to zero before we needed warding strength. But the second exactly. one, we needed the warding strength charge. The attack exactly. on Tinker is only an attack two. Oh, here. Uh, so and Tinker was it the first one. one? Was it the first one? Uh, okay. The first one was the larger hit, so that's the one where that got the more retaliate. Okay. So it'll be like oh, this yeah, at yeah. the end of the it'll day. It'll be like that. Yep, that's Two what I thought. damage on the first attacker, one on the second. And then finally, Living Spirits, as we discussed, are going to walk up just a little bit. Oh, wait, the, the non-elite hound hits me. Uh, we pulled that. It did just one damage to you. Oh, got it. Yep. Oh, wait, I have a shield. I have a shield. I'm going to use a Walks up to here. This one walks up. Does this one even bother? I guess this is better I for it. Yeah, because it's trying it's trying to get to here in order to yep. get range for it, so uh -huh. it'll, it'll take the time. Uh, so yeah, they don't get any targets this round, and we advance. All right, but they uh, they consume your ice though, Sam. They do not because they don't have. They uh, do not because they don't have, have anyone. They it's it, it's Frosthaven element consumption rules though. If they do any ability on their card, they consume the element. Well, then I would probably not have made the ice. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter because they're not hitting them. Whatever, we'll just keep it the yeah. same. Yeah, unfortunately, they do consume ice. That is a rule change from Frosthaven that if any enemy in a set does any ability on their card, uh, the ice will be consumed, even if it is not one that benefits from that elemental consumption. So the FAQ has spoken. Yeah, sorry. That's what you get for playing with me. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, it was, it's been nice playing with you, Bill. Um, we've, you've been a joy, but uh, we're actually going to finish yep. the scenario with three people. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Unfortunately, we still have to play. Right. By the way. Well, at, the, at this point, I'm not even considering the other the other option. I'm just doing the the immobilize, and I'll just do it quickly. I'm gonna go mid, and I'm gonna try to see if I can pull off the five attacks. Um, I'm trying to decide if I just want to still continue tanking up and letting you guys kill them while they chew on me. Chew on this um, trident. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll let them uh, gnaw on me a little bit harder. You know, just just like down, puppy. Yeah. <laughs> just so, look at um, them. Gonna go, They're so cute and cuddly. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go I'm, fast. I'm gonna hang on. I'm gonna go like kind of tinker fast-ish. Um, I'm gonna go pretty fast. I'm gonna give. Uh, I think it's what is it myself or all adjacent allies. I think it's all adjacent allies. Uh, oh no, it's me and all adjacent allies are gonna be buffed. Oh, nice. That'll be good. Uh, and then I'm going to hit all three of these puppies back here. For oh, wait. A bunch of things. You're doing an attack buff? These five attacks, these no, four attacks. These oh, oh attacks. Those, those, these hounds, we are going to end their days. Yeah. yeah. They, may, they, may <laughs> have, they may have some, some something to say about it first, but they're not going to live. Yeah. All right. Do it. All right. Let's go. Okay. Starting round. So, the Bruiser has Provoking Roar and Get Over Here. The Craghearts picked Petrify and Dirt Tornado. For the Tinkerer, Net Shooter and Enhancement Field. And for the Spellweaver, Icy Blast and Impaling Eruption. Alright. I am putting up Provoking Roar, which allows me to redirect attacks to myself and gives me a shield. Then I am also putting up... Uh, <laughs> 
to get over here for extra oh, retaliate. This is so stupid. And I am gonna muddle something. I could pull. I can't pull anything. There's nothing to pull. But let's see. Are any of the hounds getting? Uh, I'm not hitting off? this hound, and Tinker is not hitting this right. hound. So I think All this right, is well the one then, most likely. To I guess win. that's. I guess that's the one who's gonna be muddled, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have a context menu on the mouse that I'm presently using. Yeah, there. Yeah, there. All right, so now I'm uh, pretty tanky. Perfect. Okay, go Tinkerer. All right, so uh, I didn't want to say when so like me and all adjacent allies get yeah, plus one all their attacks this round, which is pretty dope. That's, and then it's I'm, very uh, dope. Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty good. All right, so I'm getting three experience because it's awesome and its experience is good. And oh. I'm going to net shooter all three of those non-elite hounds in the back. And then Woo! Boss. So this is going to be an attack four. I have no way to gain advantage, unfortunately, but I don't care. So I'm going to go, we're going to go around the horn. We're going to hit the closest one first. It's going to be attack four, and so that's four damage there. The one we're going to do the one above it. So this is an attack four. I'll take three, and the one over here is going to take three. But all of them are immobilized, which is kind of... Yay! Oh, yeah. I've I, I, I took a closer. Because they don't get, they're not going to get to do anything. Uh, yeah. I, we, are, we are wrecking. I took a closer look, and the spirits are, like, not even playing this round. No, they're not relevant this round either. either. And I get to steal well, their ice back. Nice. <laughs> Suckas. All right. Uh, so I've got, thanks to the Tinker, a bonus attack. Uh, thanks to my strength and advantage, I will do the impaling eruption on one, two, <laughs> three, and four. Totally. Wow! I love that card so much. Holy crap! It's fantastic. Yeah. It, the only shame is that I wasn't able to time it well with the cry cart to get the double earth, but I think we can live with that. Yeah, that's um, fine. all things considered. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna go one, two, three, four. These are advantage hits, so I'm not expecting most of these hounds to live. So here, advantage attack four, five with the poison. Yep, that's a kill. Here, advantage attack four. Five, so one health left will die to that retaliate most likely. Oh yeah, I got him. Uh, and then these two I just have to not miss. I've got advantage, so that's not possible. Dead and also dead. Oh. Yeah. Ah, holy crap. Yeah, we, we are uh, doing <laughs> too much demolishment. Yeah. Well, I, hey. uh, and I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a coin for my for my troubles. This doesn't yeah. hit the living spirits in range of me. Well, well, nope, now, this does. Now, oh, that yeah, one lets look at me. Not worth it. Because this one has yeah. this one has two movement and they are flying, so that's yeah, okay. So that I'll one, just walk that over here, left. have a little bit of a victory lap. Of one <laughs> there <inch>. you go. <laughs> all <laughs> right. So, uh, uh, all right. Come at me, hounds. So the one, of course, in the back is immobilized. The two in the front are going to go with attack uh, t uh, threes, both of them. And the first one is a muddled attack three. Yep. So the first one does two damage before any rejection. Two damage. All right. So and I the second have... one is four. Uh, well, here, so the first one was, uh, okay, he has plenty of hit points, so I will not use my warning strength against him. Um, I will, oh gosh, he's getting retaliated. Uh, well, sure, I'll use my warning strength against both of them, why not? Okay, so that'll be three damage to both of them, killing the top one. And then it was a two and a four, where you okay, had so, two shield on both and a bonus shield. Yep, and I got, so yeah, so uh, so a two and a four, I'm going to take one damage out of that. Yep, one at the end I'm of the day. I'm doing my math right. Yep. Cool. Fantastic. That, that works. See, look at this. We're unkillable, and we are lasering, so. Yep. And I'm doing my job and actually not dying as tank. So You're, that's working out. Yeah, not right. dying is good. It helps that you actually played the bottom of boarding strength. It's not <laughs> it, it, well, I mean, I didn't have time for it last time. It yeah, wasn't yeah. working out. I'm going to hit both of them with Dirt Tornado. So first I'm going to draw an attack two on our friend here. Kills it. Um, I'm kind of feeling advantage on the far one. Oh, I didn't need it. But, oh. Seems good uh, to me. Uh, three damage to it. Uh, is, there is there any place? Is there any place to move? Because I feel like I don't move because the spirits are gonna uh, attack. Yeah, if you move up even at all. The, yeah, 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 then, yeah. Because I was gonna say to here if you want to. No, I'm I'm holding still. Okay, then the spirits advance. Uh, this one does prefer to be here. Yes. Hey, look, we made another triangle. We did. 
Man, if only someone had some pierce attacks they could use. Uh, mine right. is unfortunately in my yep, discard. I do. I have a, a good solid pierce. I can get over to here easy enough and uh, try to wreck that guy a little bit. I can't do it quickly, but I can stun. So that's my turn. The, the bruiser's taking exactly one damage. This cracks me up. Yeah, it's great. Uh, yeah. Alternatively, instead of stunning, I could just do a like, medium sizable attack, but I think the stun is probably better. Mm. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to plan for either. I, I have flexibility. Okay, and then next turn, low. next turn, I... Uh, Oh, this hurts me for next turn. No, I can't do this. Uh, yeah. What do you What do you guys think? A stun this turn or a strong attack next turn? Or this turn. Um, strong attack next turn. We have we're almost full of health, and now we right. have to just wipe them out. I got my boots. I'm gonna move up there pretty far. I'd love to have wind set up, but I'm not gonna get it this round. That's fine. Up this I I need better initiative more than I need. You know. Yep. I'm hoping to execute this living spirit. I don't have a. I have better than even odds, but you know. How these I'm I'm gonna are. splash some damage on the spirits as we need it. Yeah. Okay. I'm going I'm like go. not super Sorry. early though. Yeah, right. I'm gonna have kind of a nothing round. I'm gonna go kind of slowish, and then I'm just gonna um, hopefully go after someone that. I mean, I don't know when the spirits are going, but the the idea is that. Um, someone gets hurt and I can heal them a little bit and then I will attack one of them but I don't think I'm going to do a whole lot of damage but we'll see what happens. Alright, starting up the round. Good. Alright. All right. Bruiser is doing Shield Bash and Shrimp Hole. Uh, Cracker right. is doing Go. Crushing Grasp, Massive Holder. Tinker is doing Potent Potables and Restorative Mist. Spellweaver is doing Fire Orbs and Frost Strike. Bruiser, take us away. Alright, I'm going to tap my weathered boots to turn my shield bash move into a move three get over to here and then do trample top which is an attack three pierce three on the elite spirit and i am positive this is going to be a negative one negative one or worse yep that always huh. is. right yeah that's part uh, of the card that's, that's how it works just rub, rub your millennium puzzle reel. Hey! Yeah! yeah we did it right i've never been happier to see a plus zero <laughs> All right, um, and now I have shield one, and uh, yeah, trample already was worth taking. Yeah, pretty great. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Um, so, what we do is hurt the brute, I think. I can take it. You've just doubled the amount of damage that they've taken this scenario. I oh, have. <laughs> we infuse earth and then do a single attack on the, the damage and splash it on him. Uh, oh. Two damage. Yeah. Two damage to it and one to the yeah, other. Nice. Right, so I take uh, I take one or two? One. You take How one. Much one. Okay. I wasn't sure if that was rumbling advance. I wasn't paying attention. No, I, I, I didn't rumble. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Uh, well, uh, I un I unfortunately cannot heal anyone anymore, but I don't. It doesn't matter because <laughs> it's like the bruise is only going to take. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to get money. Um, <laughs> I do have an attack though. Uh, I do I do want to attack, and I would like to get money. Uh, I do have a jump. I have the ability to jump. I'm not gonna. I am gonna move here. I don't think it matters if I. Yeah, I'm gonna move here. All right. So I'm gonna move here. Um, I would. Normally, uh, heal one all adjacent allies, except there's no adjacent allies, and the only adjacent allies that could move next to you doesn't need healing. So I'm just going to do an attack three, range three with muddle. Um, I'm probably not going to do. Well, I guess I could probably. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, you have to do it. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Uh, great job. Hey, guys, uh, these living spirits, we they didn't stand a chance. This, was, this room was too easy. Eerily <laughs> easy. <laughs> How about dead spirit? Am I right? <laughs> yep. 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 I hope it look I hope easy. Yeah, no, I hope I hope all of the viewers are watching that like we're playing this at plus one and like this is honestly like this isn't common or typical, I don't think. No. That, but like this is like you know, good coordinated team play, which we we, we, we are we we are the embodiment of friendship is magic, so what we have to do now is pick which pony we are. Well here's right. what I will say for real. 
is in in the original Gloomhaven campaign, if you've played the first edition, you'll remember that this isn't very common in the first couple of scenarios. The first couple no. of scenarios are brutal. And by brutal, I don't mean in the grand scheme of Gloomhaven, but in the grand scheme of the first one you've ever played, the first two scenarios are very tough. Here, mm -hmm. they've actually lined it up where each of the first couple of scenarios is teaching you something new while still remaining tangible for new players. So, so for example, this scenario, this is the training course on how Retaliate works, and you can see that we kind of have to manage that. So us yeah. knowing what we're doing, not a problem. But it's, it's think, very handable for, for new players. I think I taught the Hounds a lesson in Retaliate. You did. <laughs> not the other <laughs> way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, gave, you gave them a taste of their own um, medicine, yeah. which is good yeah. because they need to take their medicine. Methamazole is not cheap, guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Right, I so don't give those to dogs. I give them to my cats. So I guess we are uh, just ambling towards the door for the next couple of rounds. Yep, I'm, I'm uh, ambling. I'm gonna, I got two rounds, and then I'm going to long rest before we pop that. So I'm going to do two rounds and then long rest. So I'm going to do one round long rest and then another round. Okay. <laughs> Wait, we're getting pretty predictable here. Yeah, yes, right. we are. Um, I am going to do something. I'm going to burn my boots this round. Um, Literally on fire. Wow, that's 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 me. And that's, These that's me. boots are on fire. Okay, I really? feel like I know. Okay, I'm going to do... Okay, I'm going to go late, and I am just going to give someone a special present. Okay, I'm done. I'm in. Ooh, uh, okay. I like special, special presents. Present. Uh, bro oh, Bruiser. How am I first? Uh, Bru okay. Bruiser is doing spare dagger grab and go. These aren't going to matter, by the way. Uh, Craighead's doing backup <laughs> ammunition and heaving oh, swing. Doesn't matter. Uh, Tinker is doing volatile concoction and ink bomb, and Spellweaver is doing arcane bolt and reviving ether. All right, Bruiser, take us away. Uh, so instead of using grab and go for the move, I think we're going to move two with spare dagger right to here and use grab and go for the top, which will heal me too, and also loot one. Sweet. I knew you were going to do that, which is why I didn't play a heal card. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, spell Weaver. Well, I was going to loot one of these. They could have looted this one instead, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, that's it. I move forward. Right. And then I do and I do Arcane Bolt on the Bruiser. Oh, damn! Okay. <laughs> I, okay. I'm putting I'm putting backup ammunition into play and then moving. I'm gonna hold on to this. I am going to. I'm gonna tap my jump boots. Excuse me, wing shoes. It's it's jump boots. It's been jump. It's been jump boots for five years. It's been jump boots. So I'm gonna jump, <laughs> jump for one, two, three, four. Are we leaving then, coins back there? We are. Aren't we weird? We are. Oh, but no, it's, we're yeah, it doesn't matter. We're this is a. Uh, I mean. Work. This is unfortunately a scenario where you really need to keep some forward momentum just because so, of how long it is. So for what it's worth, if it's if it's all the same to you, if you did your loot and then your move, I get this coin and you get this coin, and we just kind of get one extra coin for free. If you're happy you know to be what? here at the end I'm of the day. I'm okay with Sam. I'm okay with that. Hang on. We, we can stop, do that. Stop. Everyone what stop. The? Everyone stop. Please, everyone, please. Sorry to interrupt the fun. Please stop. I haven't taken my second action yet. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm going to strengthen an ally within range three, and that target may recover one level one card from the discard pile. I'm going to target the crack heart because I think it's going to give the crack heart even it out. Yeah, oh, that's the right right, that is the right answer. Uh, because hold on. I mean, uh, the strengthen probably isn't going to help you much, but the extra card. Nah. Will... Uh, no, you, you, you give me my you... turn to get strength and value. <laughs> you you gave me my move four back though, so. Uh, you're welcome. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Leaving um, behind just one coin instead of two. This I can be okay with. Yeah, I'm okay with that. All right. I'm just getting closer to the door. Not as closer as I could have been. I had some business to take care Thank of. Thank you, by the way. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, I'm going to end up probably here, I hope. Um, if not, I guess I'm further away than that. And one of you can open the door next turn. <laughs> or in a two turns. I, I expect that in two turns I will be doing an open the door and maybe run back thing. Although I'll be strengthened, okay. so I mean, we've got we've got options. But I'll be I'll be happy to open the door or not. All right. Okay. Either way, this turn is my long rest turn. Yeah. This turn is my move forward. Turn. And nobody needs any healing, so man. Yeah, we. I guess we just are. 
doing too well. Now, with all this hubris, I expect we're going to get wiped out by the next two rooms. Hubris is no. one of my favorite power metal albums. <laughs> <laughs> from right. from Canadian, you know, people love Canadian metal, right? I love... To, to the two people, you know what? That's too aggressive. To the one person watching this who gets this, thank you. A cryptopsy? Excuse me? Did we talk about that in your metal video? Your, your metal I think I may have talked about cryptopsy, yeah. Yeah, because cryptopsy is one of the top tier Canadian metal bands, just want to say. That, that's fair. I, I think also I, uh, a little more, if so for people watching, a little more mainstream is Spirit Box. Spirit Box is from British Columbia. They're not really quite as heavy or aggressive, but they're still a good metal band. And I could just... Uh, uh, Devin Townsend, Strapping Young Lad. Oh, uh, yeah, Devin Townsend. Dev Dev Devin's, Devin's got some good stuff. Oh, yeah, start the round. <laughs> Bruiser, right. Bruiser is going to go skewer an overwhelming assault. Uh, Craigheart is rumbling advance and massive boulder. Uh, and Tinker is harmless contraption and jet propulsion. By the time you finish that, I finish my turn. Thank you. Uh, do I want to open the door next round? Well, I'm long resting, so it's up to you. If you did open the door, I would probably be prepared to do something half decent in it. If you didn't, that's fine too. Um, I literally don't care. I'll either we can either open the door or not, and I will do something. Okay. Okay. okay that's round. I'm long uh, rasping. Let's see. Oh, um, I did infuse earth because I did. I take it everyone is at full health, right? Yeah. Uh huh. I was at full health. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think mm -hmm. the odds that I use this are slim to none. Yeah, I will use. I think it's if, probably correct to use icy blast on my rest. I don't think we're gonna get another clump for the in the second room. Okay. Um. Can't say card Scenario. Names, so. I, I open the door. I yeah, open I'm the door and chuck out some immobilize. Totally. I, Totally you are right. opening? Hold on. Scenario, I open the door and immobilize two things. Thoughts? Um, the furthest I can get up to is here. Uh-huh. Uh, which means I may not actually be able to reach anything. So, um, the other answer is, should I just hold off? I'm taking it's... a nappy poo right here, so... How fast are you opening um, the door, Alex? Let me ask you that. How fast are you opening the door? Um... Uh, orange, almost yellow, in the terms of a rainbow. Okay, then I'm probably going to go before you, and that's, I'm just going to not have a turn, and that's okay. I'm just going to play two cards, because I only have two cards. I think it sounds like we should wait around. I think waiting around is just better. We'll have the bruiser with us. I'll be nice and close. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to move up one, one then. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be responsible with my cards, and instead of loot, strengthen. Okay. Okay. All right, starting round. Yeah, do it. Okay. Oh, I am um, going ahead of the tinker. The bruiser's taking a long rest. The Cragheart has Earthen Clod and Crater. The tinker has Reinvigorating Elixir and Gas Canister. And the Spellweaver has Flame Strike and Reviving Ether. I think that's a sign we need to kick open the door. <laughs> that's up and to for, you. I have, for me I, to just I take to... a nap? Nah. I have to figure out what card I'm getting rid of anyway, so... Uh, am I okay to chill here? Do we need this spot? No, you're good. Great, I'm chilling here, and I am strong. <laughs> strong! Like a bull. Strong like Vladimir. Uh, that's because that's how I do I feel like we do kick like... in the door. I feel like we do. Right, right, okay. Tinker? I'll short rest, uh, I don't care. I'll you, short rest. Yeah you, yeah, you guys kick open the door. That'll help me figure out what card to lose. You, you do what you want to do. If I take hits, I will not be strong like bull. No, I, I, I'll be. A, I'll take the hits. Let's go. Let's do it. I trust right. Craghart. I right, trust Tang. Have at it. All right, draw those. Oh, that's too much. Why did you let me do this? Oops. We still have. We still have the tanker to go and me and my top action. Okay. Well, I mean, see what they're doing. Yeah. What are they doing? Uh, we've oh, got totally totally Frost totally Demons totally and Living Spirits. The yes. Living Spirits are doing their multi-target, but not moving up that far. They shouldn't reach. Frost yeah, Demons no will be uh, moving uh, just a little what? bit. So What happened to our initiatives? Uh, uh, they ran off. Okay. Two, three, two, okay. So the Elite Frost Demon are getting to here so and to here. Hold on, we, 
Okay, that one's okay. not getting up there. Um, we just think out of sequence. That one goes up. We, we just ended the round prematurely. It's okay. It's Craig that, going fine. now, then I uh, hit... Living Spirit, then Tinkerer, then Frosty. All right, yeah. I'm going to immobilize this guy instead of letting it go over and punch me. And I'm going to immobilize that too. So first, let's hit the normal. Uh, nothing. That's what oh, we nice. wanted. Oh. And the I elites. Okay. Uh, three damage nice. to the elites. That's this elite? Um, yeah, the, the elite that was going to punch me, that one. Perfect. Three and this is immobilized, you said. Uh huh. And the other one's immobilized too. Uh, they're, true. they're they're both immobilized. So then Very when they go, um, only this one gets closer. And okay, that one that'll is... be out of range. Oh, uh, sorry. The tinker takes their turn before before that the happens, frost demons. Before yes. even that happens, the, the living, living spirits, spirits take their turn. So here, here, and here. Just a slow, slow advance. Now it's the tinker. I still should have I... boots. I do. Remember, I don't remember what my two cards were. I'm pretty sure one of them was gas canister. Yeah, you definitely had gas canister, and uh, you had, I think it was uh, reinvigorating elixir. That sounds right. That sounds right. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that is exactly correct. Okay, thank you. Um, I don't know. Oh, what, well, hang on. Well, the frost demons are. Wait, oh, and the spirits. Hang on, what are they doing? So the spirits are moving and attacking. Spirits have already acted, in fact. So you're done. Okay, thank you. All right, so then frost demons are going to do move minus one. Well, except for that one's immobilized. That oh, one's going to, the one's going to move up to here. Yep. Okay, so I have literally no reason to do anything. That's... I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to stay put. Okay. Excellent. All right. So let's just get this, get this. Okay. And we do need to just get some ice out of those. Uh, Frost Demons, which puts us in a spectacular position. Okay, so I've got a couple of things that I can possibly do here. Yeah, um, I just want to know what card I'm losing. This is a real quick. decision. That to fix that. Okay. Uh, we forgot to move the Frost Demons, so I just did it. Thank you. Okay. We're uh, falling apart! We're fine. I am going to do... I've got two choices. I can either do a single stun attack using up this uh, ice that the Frost Demons made, or I can uh, get more leverage out of my Strengthen and do uh, my generic hit three things. What do you guys think? Generic hit three is kind of hard to bitch about. Yeah, um, I know, right? Yeah. We'll be hitting three things. Uh, I hmm. Uh, I'm not would we would we prefer anything, to so funnel just... them around, or would that hurt us more? So, so I'm hoping to hop into here. Um, I don't know if it would be well. These guys hit. Now, now learn from your elders. This is what Isaac did. Uh huh. Yeah, I know. That's, uh... Hold on. Is, is Isaac is Isaac an elder to dwarf? Like I don't know. I have, I, have, I have a hunch I'm older than him. Uh, Dear just... Isaac. Dear Isaac. <laughs> Are you texting him? Are you texting him? No, I would never do that. It says I, he's I, offline. Okay. I'll bet he has a like a Wikipedia if you really want to be a weirdo. Um, I would never <laughs> stalk someone online. So I <laughs> I think I think a bit of funneling them is probably good here. I don't okay. have an AoE like last time. I just have a multi-target. Okay. So I don't care if they're clumped up or not. I am going to actually just get in there and I mean I'm gonna tank up and retaliate a bit more. I mean this is yeah. what I do, um, and I think it is a perfectly okay. acceptable thing to do here. So what I could do then is I could do my alternate plan. I could stun the front frost demon and I could give you a shield instead, and then I just will I'll go in with the multi target next turn. Okay. It won't have the advantage. All right, we well think? I need this hex or this hex? I don't care which one. What do, what do we think? Uh, do you think you, my extra shield is a big deal for you? Or do you think uh, I should I think just your extra me? shield is potentially a very big deal for me because these frost demons hit hard and the living the spirits may be able to actually get into range. All right, so in that case, I'm going really fast, giving our bruiser an extra shield for the round. And Thank you. I'm going to stun the front frost demon. And then next round, after everything's walked up, I'm going to plan to multi-target. All right, I'm doing almost the exact same thing. <laughs> Nothing? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, I'm going to drop some rocks. I'm not sure if it's early enough, but we'll find out. We ready to go? Fine. Starting the Great, round. Let's go. 
It's not. Nice. Oh, they're not moving. Uh, oh my god. Oh, oh no, they are. Wait. It's that one. Um, but they're not attacking. Ooh. They're not okay. attacking. That's okay. Okay. All right. And what are spirits the doing? spirits are going to move a little, shoot very short range. Yeah. They shouldn't get in range of us. We should be fine. God, right. I don't even uh, need the. I don't even need the shields. Yeah, I should have done my other plan. That's okay though. Um, <clears throat> hard to hard to predict that. Uh, yeah, it is. It is. So I still. It doesn't matter if I stick to the ice or not. Um, oh, before we go. Whatever. Uh, one second. Eye for an eye. An overwhelming salt for yeah. the bruiser. Crushing grasp and earthen bulwark for the crag heart. Uh, flamethrower and toxic bolt for the tinkerer. And ember frost and frost strike for the spell weaver. All right. Spell weaver takes Very us away. Cool. Uh, yeah. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and stun this frost demon. Even though it's not attacking, I think it's still fine. It's making ice make any difference? Not at all, so who cares? Um, Frost Demon is taking an attack two with advantage. So three. Oh, oh man, it's excellent advantage. Holy moly. Done. Yes, yeah, that's, 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 that a fan, that's an amazing mm -hmm. advantage. And yeah, I don't think I care either way. You have an extra shield for what it's worth. Thank you. I, Not much, but I have a couple extra shields myself, too. I'm going to jump here, uh, create some air, and then, yeah, I guess I guess I got a shield one, retaliate one for the round. Can you sit there instead? I can sit there instead, absolutely. Thank That's you. actually a better place. That's actually a better place for you to be. Seems good to All right. Be. I'm fine with it, yeah. Tinker. Take it away. Tinker, oh, hey, look, so, okay, unfortunately, the... Bruiser went before me, but that's okay because uh, both the Cragheart and the Spellweaver are going to be granted, and myself, are granted shield one for the round. And then I'm going to infuse earth. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to attack this thing for two and poison it. So unfortunately I don't do any damage, but that's okay because I got the poison and the rest of you can handle it because you're all not support classes. Frost demons are going to sprint forward. They've got effectively unlimited movement here, so gets to here, gets to here, and then has nowhere to be. Uh, the living spirits are moving up two and then one. They would heal themselves if they had any health. To this regain. is where I'd heal myself. Technically, if I had any damage. Uh, go ahead, crack card. All right. Um, I actually feel like I do the um, punch, the crushing grasp. Even though, Heck yeah, yeah, I think so Tally, it's fine. Yeah, go yeah. On. Um, so we take an attack. We do an attack four. Only three damage. I take two, whoa, whoa. and then um, I heal myself for one. So I only take one. So yeah, uh, three great. damage and uh, immobilize to it. And they remember they have a shield, right? Uh, oh, they do have two shield. Actually, oh shit! So yeah, boo. Unfortunate. Yes, <laughs> very bun fortunate. But hey, trading one damage from you for one damage for them. Is the, uh, well, the perfect trade-off. Not, not a great, but it's okay. Uh, Wor right. Worst, worst um, things have happened. So, folks, I'm thinking, and you can tell me if I'm a moron here. You are, but go on. You're a moron here. So, I don't like being here. So, I'm thinking if I go, oh, back to here, say, and attack a few things on my way, and then I could attack these two spirits with a pierce attack, that might be an okay plan. I'm, okay it off a bit here. I, I'm going. I, I, what? What? The, here's my plan. I'm going mid. I'm going to hit a couple things near me and splash a bunch. And I'm going to hit a couple things farther away from me and not splash a bunch. Okay. Well, then. Um, yeah. I think I'm going to do this plan. It is. Pro it is maybe not fast enough, and I may need to audible. But you know what? Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. I've got a. I've got a big hit on somebody. Uh, on three somebody's. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. Give me a second here. Uh, what are you going to do? I I have a ton of options, which is you know a twelve card hand is pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Classic. Um, Mister, like I have a ton of options. I know, right? I know. What a, what a, you know, hold on. What do I actually want to toss? Do I want to jump in there and just hold on? I have my boots still, right? I am okay. So, uh, could I, what if I just squish the spirits? I need this spot. I need this spot. Okay, you're going there. How you, fast are you doing? This, this spot? How fast yeah, I mean, that? unless. Okay, you never mind, never mind. I'm, I'm sticking with my plan. Go. Bruiser, okay, because I, or I could go here and do the same thing. No, 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 no. That's fine. How fast? How fast are you going? 
Crackheart? Bruiser. How fast are you going? Oh, uh, not very. Thing I was gonna do. I'm gonna do something a little more conservative. That's awful. I know. <laughs> I, I'm, okay, I need to pick a bottom action. Oh boy. I don't want to use a loss attack. And I don't. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. The. Wait a minute. Oh, not a loss. Okay, yes, yes, yes. I got this. I got this. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We're doing this. We're totally doing this. We're totally. Doing this. All right. Okay. We, we all got right, this. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. We got this. We got this. All right, we everyone, go. ready, set, like, big, big turn. All right. Oh my gosh, I got it in. Let's go. That's a okay. Uh, so Bruiser is gonna do skewer and trample. The Crackheart's gonna do earth and clod and massive boulder. <laughs> the Tinker is gonna do jet propulsion. It's a field. <laughs> Spell. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best. The gonna do fire ups and arcade bolts. I'm so sorry, everyone. I start. Okay. Crackheart, take two damage. Wait, me? Yeah. Or Bruiser, 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 take two damage. Wrecked. What? All right. Attack four on this uh, boy right here. Okay. Um, three damage to it, and splash two damage, so three, and everything adjacent to it takes one. Um, this guy here takes, um, four, and that thing takes one. And, uh, for long distance, what within range is considered, like, you're, are you, are you doing your trample or skewer? I want to do a trample that goes over this guy, this guy, this guy, and ends back here. Gotcha. And then skewer these two. If you're going to skewer these two, I feel pretty good about that. So how about we just dumpster these frost demons yeah. near me? Uh, All right. uh, but, let me just make sure I have something to do. Because if you kill them, if if you don't kill this one, I kind of have no turn. Uh, if So I can hit this, this frost demon out here. I think hitting if I think hitting this frost yes. demon and the elite living spirit is a good choice. Um if uh if I do that, the skewer I think is gonna take that dude out though. No, it's not I don't know, not it's only pierce one. Because it's yeah, it's only it's, pierce it's, one. It's four pierce one, so a plus zero yeah. elite Oh one yeah, yeah, out. yeah. Okay. So I think first that works out great. let's hit let's hit the elite living spirit then. Yeah. Um this is an attack four on it. Uh, three. Oh, uh, unfortunate. And then an attack four on this guy. Four damage to that frost demon. Perfect. It's okay. All those negative modifiers you just saw. That's what I'm uh, queuing up for on myself. So. Uh, and Earth is refreshed. Go ahead. Tinker. Okay. Cool. So I am going to wait a minute. Let's make sure I'm doing the right thing here. I am. Okay. I am going to give. I'm going to give. This is an aura. I'm going to play you and all adjacent allies. Add plus one to attack all your attacks this round. Boo. And then I'm going to do attack two, target two, range three. But it's re attack three, target two, range three. Very nice. So yep. I'm going to nail these guys. And I'm going to hit the poison one first because that's going to be an attack four instead. So this will be an attack four on the poison one. Hey, it's that's dead. Five yeah, yeah, nice. Okay, then I'll trample this guy. Um, how, well, how much are you going to attack it for? Three? I'm going to attack him for three and then get all the way back here. So I'm attacking okay, so I'm these two guys. I'm probably not going to kill him, but I want to make sure just in case you draw a negative, I want to kill, I want to hit this one. Okay. This is going to be attack three. Okay. And I know, so there you go. It's fine. All right. All right. It's, it's okay. We're probably going to see one of them from me anyway, so. Them all. all right. I am, I'm done. All right. Uh, so then I can go one, two, three, four, five back to here. And that, whoops. Turning the spirit, not myself. I have to face my uh, face you my must. bow. You must. It's a miniature. Use it. All right. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So, I have uh, that is a lost card, and I used my uh, weathered boots. So that is going to be an attack three now, which with an extra three kicker XP. Nice. Um, against first of all, Frost Demon five. Hey, nice. there we go. Frost Demon four. Eh. That's okay. That's okay. It's okay. And then um, Living Spirit number three. One 
which, well, it's good. I can use all the health I can get. Uh, then, that is lost. We are going to use the top of Skewer, where I'm going to consume the air. Then it is an attack for Pierce 1 against these two guys down here. So attack 4, Pierce 1 against number 3. Ah, ah. unfortunate. Attack 4, Pierce 1 against number 4. Two damage. Damn, right. that yeah. was about the worst it could have gone. Shame, yeah. But uh, did I already get my uh, XP for that? I don't think I did. Okay, living spirits are backing up to uh, end the bruiser's happiness. Well, taking... here's the, I'm going to do my amulet of life just to have an extra hit point. Yeah. <laughs> You're yeah, taking yeah. a four, a three, and a three here. Oh, yep. I have uh, I have some shielding that I can do. So the yeah. four is six. <gasps> what? <gasps> you know what? I'm just going to call yeah, it. I'm going to. This is the, the right answer. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah I'm gonna... <laughs> it's not the last scenario, too. Yeah, I'm I'm going to lose a card off of that because six is uh, not good. Six then... is just not good. Uh -huh. Then we've got a uh, three and another three, which is hey. nothing. Yeah! Four. So, all right. So I have a heater shield and warding strength, uh, which means I only take two from that. Hey, that's okay. correct. Th that's, that's really not bad. Uh, yeah, I mean, I hate losing the card, but whatever. Yeah. Then the frost demon. So this one will walk over to here. Mm -hmm. uh, the other one will stay as is. It has to because it's immobilized. And these are attack threes on the bruiser is three damage, and on the okay. crag cart, just the one. Okay, okay, he takes one retaliate. That kills him. I get... Yeah! All right. Hell uh, yeah! And I take... And I take, uh, two. Okay. And then, uh, well, I'm, I'm gonna not fire orbs, because, uh, everything's gone. Instead, I mean, if you can get in far enough, it's still I probably can't. I only have a move, too. Uh, oh, okay. I could, I could disadvantage here and go on this three shield guy, so instead, I'm just gonna not do that. Uh, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna arcane bolt on this guy, eating up uh, the ice for an attack four. Don't you get plus one from the aura? Uh, five. Uh, this nice. seems like a good time to advantage and secure the kill. So we're gonna uh -huh. yes. Yeah. Good advantage. Oh yeah, very good advantage. Very yeah. good. Yeah. Did that frost, demon, did that frost demon? Did that frost demon attack the crag heart? Yes, it did. Okay, I missed it. It, it drew a minus two. Of course it draws a minus two against you. I know. It's just <laughs> demons really like me. Yeah. I'll be, I'll be short resting here. Um, so. That's fine. A bit annoying, but not the end of the world. I'm probably going to arrive in ether before I walk through the door, no matter what, just because it doesn't yeah. make sense to try to do it in the middle of the third room. But we got time. Um, uh, I'm going to move a bit further in. If somebody could draw a little bit of heat, I would appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. I will try to... Well, let's see. Who do I have the best odds? You know what? Screw it. We're doing this. I got a turn. So, so I should, I should be able to take out one of the living spirits. I think it's probably got to be the normal. I think the elite's a little bit too much of a long shot. Is it? Actually, yeah. I have a good shot. I can go on the elite. Okay. But we'll see what everyone else does. Yeah. Uh, all right. Running it. Do it. Provoking Roar and Shield Bash for the Bruiser. Rumbling Advance and Heaving Swing for the Craghart. Restorative Mist and Ink Bomb for the Tinkerer. And Ember Frost and Revaving Ether for the Spellweaver. All right. Okay. So Ooh, if, if we make seven. it to the Living Spirits, they do not have the ice. I ate it last round, so uh, no stun coming out of them. Uh, this is an attack to Pierce 1, giving it an extra Pierce with my Scouting Lens. So a plus zero is a kill, and I think those are odds I'm okay with. Nope. Well, no. Nope. <laughs> this is what fire. Happened. We make some fire, and we uh, let's see. How, what are they hitting for? Four and three. I can't take both of them. I'll just walk. Yeah, I, I can't take all of that. No, but, I'm coming uh, in. It's all good. We're fine. We're good. All right, so Prince, if I take just the elite. I'll be okay. All right. So um, I can I can automatically delete the elite. Just a heads up. Oh yeah, that delete sounds good. The elite. Uh -huh. elite. It doesn't matter what I draw because I destroyed the obstacle and you know kill what? it. If you're if you're just gonna kill the elite, I'm just gonna go up here then instead. I'll just be a little bit further up. Get ready for the next room. That yeah, works. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I have a move two shield one. I feel like I'm I've lost a couple of cards here. I'm sorry. Yeah, move two shield one to get back to there. 
So I have moved back into this, or moved back here. Um, shield one. And then I am going to do an attack three. It's got a push, which I mean, I probably will do. Uh, let's see what happens. No Minus damage. one. Jeez. No damage. Um, he's going to move back there on his own anyway, so <laughs> not really much of a point. You do get an there. experience, though. I do. Very nice. Oh, Very yeah, nice. I do. All right. I'm short resting next turn unless you guys do some magic, in which case... Oh, you know what? I can healing potion right now. That sounds like a fair idea. Oh, crap. I should have told you not to move because I was going to heal you, but you can heal. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. I'm good. Uh, so, Alice, I just want to point out that um, that's twice now that you've damaged me as Cragheart and the very next monster turn I've lost cards. I, I feel uh, like that's a skill issue on your part. <laughs> I, yeah. I think, oh man, I think yeah, that's right. There's a nice safe spot over way down here. You could have just been waiting there. The I could have just time. stayed there. Yep. I know. See, I'm glad you guys have finally caught on. This is great. Yep. <laughs> okay, my turn. Yes. Yes. Sorry. Okay. I, no, you're fine. It's, I, that was not a sarcastic uh, an admonition. I'm going to move to and heal the Kragheart one, oh, and then thank you. I am going to Ink Bomb. Whoa! Over these Whoa. nerds. Uh, okay. Because I can spend lots, because we're doing good. I think we're yeah, yeah, doing good. I think it's yeah. fine. That works. I don't know. I'm, I'm running a bit low, but you know. Yeah, I know. I, know. I, got, I got you, fam. I got you. Okay, so we're going to nail these idiots for four, attack four each. So we're going to hit the elite first, so attack four. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And then attack four on this one. Minus one's good. Oh, look, it's still oh. dead. Oh, oh it's a minus one. Oh, man, look, look at all the damage. I, look, at all the, look at all the stuff I did. As, as the, as the, that as was, the, the tanker is terrible. The that was indeed some I stuff. I the tanker. The tanker is just trash. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> um, gonna heal myself, move up, and infuse Earth. That works, too. Okay. Oh, yeah, I infuse Dark, just in case anyone wants that. And the living spirits are dead, so... Yeah, well, that's we, um, that's we, have, but yeah. we have one left, unfortunately, who's gonna. Oh, yeah, there's one. Yeah, I, I, if quick it's whack. over by the quiet card, it doesn't matter. Quick whack is for two damage. Uh, yeah. I take one, and warning strength is uh, no more. It did its job. It, it did its job, uh, and more than that, um, I don't have a more than that. I don't have a. Uh, <laughs> I just. I just wish that more of that happened on uh, turns where living spirits weren't attacking me from range. But um, <laughs> that's uh, fair. I unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get up and actually help you because I don't have any of my piercing stuff right now. So I'll be I'll be there someday. Yeah. So so here's the deal. I'm almost considering with all these defensive items I have, he'll hit me for three, but I'll heal two. So I feel pretty good. I think you're long about. Rest long resting right uh, here. I'm going to chuck a thing at him, but I'm not going very early. You're fine. Just your long rest is fine. Yeah, yeah let's do it. Your long yeah, rest is rest. fine, yeah. All right. Bruiser is long resting. Cragheart has Crater and Dirt Tornado. Um, Tinkerer has Harmless Contraption and Potent Potables. Uh, and Spellweaver has Flame Strike and Fire Orbs. Spellweaver, take us away. Uh, Spellweaver is getting money. Ex nice. You know, that's yeah. just that's just acceptable. And then, yeah, how far can we go without getting hit? Because I actually don't really want to take Actually, I have leather armor. I could take this hit. Yeah, you could yeah, take you could. that easier than I sure, could. Sure, I'll use my new item. Sounds like a fun plan. Hello, spirit. <laughs> oh, well, he won't even be able to get away from you. Uh, well, yeah, he, he, he has two movement, here. just barely. So he will just make it barely. Way. Cool. Um, and I'll take the disadvantaged attack three. Sure. So two damage, <laughs> totally fine. Very nice. Then it's credit card. I need to figure out what card I'm losing. Um, it's it's dead. It is. Uh, it's four dead. four damage. Yeah, yeah that's great. Yeah. Good. That's the number. And I Go ahead. eat the earth. <laughs> Are we doing what is that? Uh, from Jackbox. Three 
Oh, I was thinking Jackbox. And three Stooges, are we that old? You're that old. <laughs> I'm like... I, I'm that old. Yeah, I, I, I'm not old. I, I try to tell myself that all the time. No, those, uh, those uh, run reruns all the time. You're young and attractive, it's fine. <laughs> We're all attractive. I, I kept trying to call us the Haven Hotties. But Haven nobody, Hotties. Haven Hotties. Nobody wanted that. I know. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stalk all, all you guys I, and I find out. I don't know what you look like, I think. Oh, Sam, I might not know what you look like, but the, all three of us, the majority of us, are attractive, so. <laughs> and I'm just going to consider you attractive by default. Uh, attractive until proven otherwise, right? Yeah, of right, course. Exactly. Yeah. All right, I'm done. Yeah, we're done. Well, I, got, I got a new haircut last weekend, so, you know. Ooh, nice. There you go. I don't Wait, you know. Uh, How many how many turns we got? I can I can stall fairly indefinitely. I'm gonna I'm just gonna uh, long rest just to. I just long rested and I, um, feel weird about opening that room, but I could make it work. Right now, though, I need to figure out what card I'm getting rid of. I don't think there's and a world where we go in this turn. I think that's a horrific mistake. I think we uh, can okay. either go in I don't two turns think there's a three. world. <laughs> yeah. You know. All right. Uh, yeah, that's painful, but I think we're gonna do Is that. It... Okay. Are, are we going in in two turns or three? Because if we're going in in two turns, I need to long rest now and reviving Ether now. But if we're going in in three turns, then I can get a short rest in first. Or I mean, I that, don't want yes. to... It depends. How much help do you want from the good old craggy, or good old bruiser here? Because I'm down to five cards. Um, hey, Crabheart? Yeah? I mean, sorry. Bru hey, bruiser? Bruiser. 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 Yes. Go slow. Uh, okay. I can go, go really slow. Well, I mean, you don't have to go super slow, but go on, go, go. I'm gonna, yep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something that you'll like. So go, kind of. Okay, I'm, you. I'm going quite slow, and then I'm gonna get closer to the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. Do the thing you said. Yeah. Do okay. the thing you said. Okay. I think we're all in. Yes. Yeah. Quick round. Quick round. All right, cool. The Spellweaver and Cragheart are both long resting, and the Bruiser is doing grab and go and overwhelming assault, and the Tinkerer has picked Volatile Concoction and Reinvigorating Elixir. I'm going to use a generic move too, and then I'm going to strengthen you, which doesn't make any sense at all. But you may recover a level one card from your discard pile. Is there... Um, That's what I'm going to do. I, I, I do. You, you should have said go it. fast. No, yeah, you should have said go, go fast. fast. No, you're fine. Keep doing it. Keep going. I'm done. I, you're done. He oh, doesn't oh, have anything in his discard I pile, Bob. Have, I can't recover. Oh, you don't? You don't? Why not? Why no, you because, because I just long rested. Well, that's dumb. Why did you do that? Okay, so what I'm going to do is... <laughs> I was out of cards! I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to strengthen Spellweaver, and then the Spellweaver can recover one level one card from the discard pile. Nice. Go, Bruiser. And I'm done. Yeah, okay. That's, it. that's, my, right. that's my turn. I'm going to loot one, uh, finish healing up, grab a coin, and then I'm going to move uh, closer to the door. Uh, if anybody has a preference on where I go, it doesn't matter to me. I'm in one of those two front spaces. I've created wind. Um, uh, I'm I'm not changing my plan either way. I I have to reset now, or I'm not going to have time later. So I'm doing my reset. Okay. Um, if you I if am, you decide you're going to go in, I can just give you a shield. That's fine. I'm yeah. I'm going to propose that I open the door and tank up hard as hard as I can, cool. and just. That let things happen and if i exhaust at least i've exhausted well that sounds great because then things will probably clump around you and that'll give me a great option they, for the next round. yeah they they probably will i have a decent chance to survive whatever gets thrown at me uh warding strength is dead unfortunately but um yeah i will open it up i'm getting close to exhaustion anyway so okay. that's fair. I'm gonna move up after, hopefully after you, probably after you. I'm gonna dish out a couple of uh, mediocre attacks. Okay. I'm going pretty fast, so Sounds I'm gonna good. stand stand in the door and get that uh, bulwark battle goal. Oliver, how fast are you going? Very, 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 very fast. But okay, I'm not so doing any attacks. Okay, right. no, that's fine. That's fine. I just wanted to ask. Um, okay, so then I will choose a different. Bottom action. Uh, um, I almost wonder on. if I do that instead. Are we feeling aggressive? We are. Do you know why? Because I'm being an aggressive crag heart. This crag heart is like, you know, you, you had the old version of Kyle who was like, 
yeah, I'll do this. This credit card is like, uh, take no prisoners. I'm going to just punch everything, blow everything, drop all the rocks. I'm feeling that. We're being aggressive. Be, be, okay. All right. We're going to stop there. Aggressive. Be aggressive. B-E-A-G-G-R-E-S-S-I-V-E. Thank you for stopping that. Okay. Uh, the Bruiser is doing Eye for an Eye and Shield Bash. Um, Craig Hart is doing Dirt Tornado and Petrify. Um, the What's His Tinkerer is doing Enhancement Field and Flamethrower. And Spellweaver is doing Ember Frost and Reviving Aether. Spellweaver, take us away. Spellweaver is going to give one shield to the Bruiser. Making Ice is going to... Uh, revive their ether. You're making fire. Okay. Fire uh, nice. And does Earth help you this turn? Um, this turn, no. Um, no. Okay. Then that's okay. it. That's my whole turn. All right. So I'm moving one into the doorway and putting up a shield one. Oh, oh, the oh there's a room that I remember. Oh, um, there I do so like this room. All the cards for all the people and see what they're going to do. Let's oh. hope that it is a good level of clumpage that they have. Ooh. Yeah, well, the hounds are going to be taking up all the doorway. Uh, mm, the spirits are targeting too, but they're from uh, from too far away for it to matter, right? Yeah. You can still back up though, one, right? You can still back up. I one. don't. I don't really know that I want to. Okay, that's fair. How much are the well, demons hitting for? Oh, they have pierce. That's not exciting. You don't want Well, that. so so here's the deal. I mean, the frost demons do have pierce, so I don't want that. This way, the hounds clog up the door. Frost demons are out of play. Um, living spirits don't do anything, and the hounds just fill these spaces and get retaliated some. I think fair? that works. It's, it's a little unfortunate. I'm not going to have a lot of great targets next turn for my thing, but it'll be what it is. It's fine. Um... Well, I mean, I can do something else, but that will lead I, to frost I think, demons. I think the something else is you taking one trillion damage, and I don't think yeah, that's probably I, worth it. I, yeah, that's, I mean, that's how I see it. So, all right, then I'm putting up a shield one, retaliate one with XP if I do. And you've got the shield for me as well, of course. And I, so that'll put me at three shield this round, yeah. Yep, so you're taking just the two attacks from the hounds. We'll make them crisscross because it's fun. And they are attacking Chris for uh, two damage and immobilize. So you're immobilized, and then you're taking a three and a zero before reductions. Nice. Each Fantastic. of them takes each of them takes one damage, and I take nothing. Excellent. That's very good. Uh, hmm. The frost demons cannot find a focus. The tinkerer. Oh right, that's me. Okay. Um, hmm. Are you getting up? Are you setting up enhancement field outside this room? Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Should I drop it on? Oh, it's got yeah, yeah. Right? yeah, drop right, it right, right there. there. That's awesome. Okay, then that's what I will do because I was going to ask exactly. I was going to ask where to put that. So I, that's where I'll yeah. put it because that's what you were telling me. Yep. And I'm going to follow the instructions. So here we go. There it is. And then, sorry, sorry. And that's a loss. So let me gain three experience because that's how I do. And now I'm at what nine, eight experience. That's good. I like I like that. Okay. Um, and then instead of granting all adjacent allies and myself shield, oh, one, do you? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Do that. That's fine. That's a much better representation of what I'm doing than you know, what I did. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the, I, I do like the Tinkerer gear, but unfortunately the way that the character tokens work is that if you drop a character token on a person or vice versa, it just goes above their head. So if anyone ever walked onto <laughs> the enhancement field, then they would just be like either falling over or it would hover above them. So mm -hmm. not what we want. All right, and then I don't think the spirits do anything. Oh, one of them. They, no, one. Nope, yeah. they don't have any movement, so it's just credit card going. Yep. All right, um, I'm going to step onto the enhancement field because it's my friend. And um, I think we're gonna burn petrify on over back here. Sure, that's a good idea. All right. Um, yeah, first totally. on the first on the spirit, and to make sure it lands, we're gonna advantage it. Okay. And then the frost demon. Uh, frost demon takes six damage, um, and this guy becomes a um, obstacle. Oh well. Um, if you want. Oh, I I, I don't have to. It is not in a mandatory box. Oh, you're right. It isn't. We're going to not make that an obstacle. <laughs> I'm going to just uh, infuse earth. And uh, 
yeah, leave it there. And since that was multi-attack, right. that doesn't trigger back up. And that's me. Yep. Oh, I get an XP from the retaliating I did. I am going to okay. short rest. Okay. That's so we are. If I I'm debating going slowly because if I go slowly, I think there's a really good chance that living spirits walk up closer. And if they do, then I can get a lot of targets off on my turn. Okay. Um, even I though. Can't move. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to plan to go very slowly, even okay. though it's a little. Because uh, I don't, I don't actually think I'm killing anything with this with this turn. I'm going to try to see if I can catapult stuff. It's not better. I'm going to try yeah, to see I'm if I can launch stuff. Um, okay. I've got pushes, gonna, so we'll see. I'm going to do exactly the same thing I did last round. I like it. Nobody needs healing. That's mm -hmm. good. Uh, so maybe I can just... Maybe I should just go fast. Yeah, maybe I should just go fast. I'm going to go fast-ish for the tinker. Okay, I'm in. <clears throat> All right. All right. Uh, Bruiser is doing eye for an, uh, hiccup eye for an eye and shield bash. Uh, Cragheart's doing earthen bulwark and crater. Tinker is doing restorative mist and toxic bolt. Spellweaver's doing frost strike and icy blast. Very cool. All right, hounds. Um, are they doing Jokes their muddle? on them. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> they muddle immediately. That's it. Yep. Go Bruiser. Yep. Uh, yeah. So I wasn't attacking anyway. So I have a shield to retaliate one this round. Cool. Uh, Tinkra. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to do... Um, the only thing I can really do is I can target... I'm going to just attack and poison one of these things. So attack two. So two damage to this hound. Or is it three? It's three. It's because three because field. the enha field. enhancement field. Thank you. I forgot my own thing. I'm silly man. Uh, I also infuse earth because earth is cool. And then I'm going to... can also do a move to heal all adjacent allies, except that no allies need to be... <laughs> I do just need this, I need this spot. Yeah, I'm just going to move closer to the door. I need this spot. I need this spot. Sam, this spot Sam, oh, this spot. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay here. I'm not going to move, and I'm done. Uh, living spirits, they need to get within range three of the bruiser, which means they're all going to walk up by one. Ping, ping, and ping. And then I think they all get a bite at me. Yeah, uh, so this is going to be some attack twos, and you're muddled again. What? Uh, so, uh, two damage, two damage, and three damage. So you take one? Four Out of that, I take one. Woo! Shield is good. Go crack card. All right. Um, I'm so centering oh, my wait, blast. Oh, wait, no, I don't take any, because that's the heater shield. True. I'm centering my blast here, so try not to kill things in here, but if you damage them, obviously, that's fine. Um... So I think what we do is the frost demons are not doing any. They're just doing the cleave. Uh, how bold am I feeling? Well, they probably will get to do that because I'll bet some of them are going to be dead. I'm not hitting the We're... sound and I'm oh. not. It's not. I mean, I'm, I'm kind. I don't know. I'm hitting it for four with advantage. So the sound could yeah, die, it, could not die. I, I can take I can take a hit. I'm fine. Yeah, it's only one frost this... demon getting in if it happens. It's not okay. in the world. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what I need to shoot lasers on. I have two targets. Um, should I hit this hound? But I feel like we need it there just to block. You... Wait, you have a push? Is there anywhere useful that we can push? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but I can't see mm. any. No, I don't see any. I don't see any. No. Um, if we were if we were smart, the tinkerer could have hit this one instead, and then you could push this one into here, and I uh -huh. get a five target icy blast. But if you hit this one, it probably just dies. So that doesn't really change anything. Right. I think you um, I think you just hit the two frost demons. Yeah. Um, well, I don't think I can see this one. So no, no, there's uh, no line of sight. So, damn, that no, can't so right. yeah, I, I think I hit this frost demon. Did a range. Yeah, I, I think it's just that hound. This I think sound, those this are sounds your... then. Yeah. This sound. You're, you're not this... you're not very favorite. Sure. Hound. This yeah, sound sure. and that. All right. So um, first off, attack four on the frost demon. Uh, three damage. Attack four on the hound. Nothing. Oh, uh, wow. okay. It didn't matter anyway. Yeah, that's um, what we call not optimal. And, it's okay. Skill uh, issue. Yeah, skill issue for sure. You have a push on that hound. 
You have a push on. You have a push on that hound, right? Yes, I do. So you could, if we wanted to, push that hound to here, and I could hit uh, these four instead. If we think that's better. You don't better. have line of sight on. Yeah, well, I've got to move one. first. I guess. I guess I would have to move to here, though. So yeah, you would well. have to move. No, all that's the way. not worth. Not worth it. Then. All right, uh, we're not going to do that. So we're just going to pass it to the spell weaver. Okay. Uh, I go to here. Uh, fire gives me advantage. Ice gives me uh, plus one muddle. So this is attack four's advantage. It's the exact same turn I did last time. It's a good turn. I like it. Uh, we'll go start here and go clockwise around. Uh, kills on a plus zero with advantage. I think I'm going to save my pierce for later. So here. Dead. Here. Dead. Here. <laughs> Five. And the hound. Four. Very good. That's awesome. We left it at one, which means Frost Demons skip their turn. Frost Fantastic. Um, yep, so I... they don't move, they don't attack, they don't generate ice. Uh, let me they're take a look at what right? the situation is. What they're are muddled, right? Yes, they're everything muddled. I hit is muddled, which is these two things. It's yeah, muddled. I'm muddled also, I believe, if you, you don't are mind muddled. that on me. It's okay. Okay. Uh, I right. am going to... Uh, wreck it. I can't um, go okay. fast. I, I only have uh, one possible turn, so I'm doing that. Oh, we need to end round, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Actually, you oh. know what? I've got I've got a better turn. I want to make an element potion from last turn. I'm going to make a fire as the okay. very last person All to right. go. And then I'm going to go a little bit quickly and make a lot of things sad. I'm okay. going to go going... late, and I'm going to make plenty of things sad. I'm going not fast enough and making myself sad. Uh, I'm, I'm right, losing. Me... I'm losing one million cards in the next couple of rounds. This is. This, well, yeah, uh, that's fine. That sounds like hyperbole. Yeah, yeah. You that's didn't hear the good. change. Spellweaver's hand size is now three million. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's so much. I am in. Let's go. Right, Why can't I hold all these cards? The bruiser is playing skewer and grab and go. The Cragheart has massive boulder and crater. The Tinker has potent potables and reinvigorating elixir. And the Spellweaver has flame strike and fire orbs. Huh. All right, Frost uh, Demons. Frost Demons uh, go instantly, and uh, they don't have I the I get ice. immobilized. Oh, that's not that bad. That's, that's not, not yeah. All right, we're good. I was like, no. Oh, wait, never mind. We're it's good. It's range two, so it's just bruiser immobilized, continuing to hold the line, but now forcefully. Forcefully holding the line. <laughs> Uh, I will use <laughs> the uh, the classic loss of fire orbs to ping down hopefully all three of these enemies. I'm going to save my advantage for later. Um, top hound. Well, I should have advantage. Whatever. This hound. <laughs> dead. This hound. Or this ice. Dead. Um, it's okay. I think I got this hound. Uh, no, I shoot it myself. With oh, a bottom oh, attack. Okay. Dead. All right. Perfect. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, did you consume fire for that? Uh, no, I didn't. But the poison with the plus. Hey, uh, can you do me a huge favor? Can yes. you drink that element mm -hmm. potion? Yes. Okay. Uh, make dark with it, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Earth is me. All right. Well, right. I guess I no longer have an attack target. So what I'm going to do is <laughs> and heal too. So loot okay. one, heal two. Um, I mean, yeah, do it, man. Seems good. Well, to me. I mean, I uh, do it. That's great. Get that bag. I had no do targets. I... Get that bag. <laughs> I got Get the bag. I no, got I a double bag. bag. Of, the bag has been obtained, guys. Sweet. All right. Good turn. Tinker. All right, I'm next. Uh, I get to attack something, maybe. Probably. Uh, oh, there were. Oh, okay, so the spirits are just gonna curse. The hounds are dead. Hounds are dead. Uh, the spirits can all curse me. It's fine. Well, it's not just gonna do that. It's yeah, gonna, I know. It's three targets, right? Yeah. That's okay. I don't. I don't have any way to kill anything. Uh. We're near enough to the end of the scenario. I'm not worried about curses. That's true. I guess the. Okay, so the demons already went, so I can actually move into the room if I wanted to. The problem is I don't have a move three, so I can't move into the room. It's okay, and... you can just give me all my cards back. 
Um, I could do that. Is that what you want me to do? Yeah, that's actually a solid plan. Not gonna lie. That's okay, a solid plan. You know what? In, in, in exchange, I'll take three experience. How about that? Yeah, uh, that's good. This is the best trade deal in the history of trade deals. Uh, yeah, I, don't anything, I don't have anything to attack, so I'm done. But I feel like that was still a value turn. Yeah, it is. That was great. Yeah. No, I, I get a lot better turn next turn out of this. Okay. I can't do um, that to the brute, but the brute kept like not putting cards in the discard pile, so you know. I, well, I was. That's because I was almost out of them already. Uh, <laughs> everyone whose name is not Tinker, take a curse. Okay. And then go crack card. All right, um, everyone whose name is Doc Craghart takes a damage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Everything next to me suffers too. I think that just eats the Ooh. spirit. Yeah, dead spirit. Uh, chalk checking uh, one at him to more damage onto him. And then I recreate Earth. That's really um, powerful. Recreating Earth is a lot of effort. I'm just going to tell you guys that. Yeah. yeah. yeah but it's really worth it. Yeah. It's okay. Worth it. I am short resting. Okay. Let me think what I want to do. With and my that's fine. I guess I. Uh, do I want to lose Skewer? Uh, yeah, I got it. Stop not having discard cards. Brutes, Dizzard, I keep trying to give you cards back and you keep, like, not having them. I mean, <laughs> I'm almost out it's of okay, them. We're, I, we're all fine. It, it, it would have been good last round, but... You know. we're, in, we're in amazing shape, though. We yeah, are yeah. in really good it's shape. Where, I'll go so as far to claim it would be yeah. impossible for us to lose this. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're not wrong. The Bruiser has Shield Dash and Grab and Go. The Cragheart has Crushing Grasp and Dirt Tornado. The Tinkerer has Harmless Contraption and Volatile Concoction. And the Spellweaver has Flame Strike and Impaling Eruption. All right. So, uh, yeah, um, I think you guys got it handled. So uh, I'm going to go over here and loot one. <laughs> and shield one. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> All right. That's fantastic. That's awesome. <laughs> But so I'm happy. shielding one. I'm ready for this guy to attack me. I'm not being useless. Well, yeah, I am, but you know, you're not being useless. They're not you're even not here. To yeah. I, I have a valuable. I'm I'm the dungeon cleaner. Uh, the good. frost demon rolls in and shields right in your face. Also, eats this fire <laughs> and you take a damage. So all right, so uh, one directs damage to. No, I think don't they no, eat it? They takes it. they, they takes take it. it. No, no. Oh, yeah, they take the damage. The true. Take Calculated. Damage, right? Well, I should have done rumbling advance if I had known that. Mm -hmm. Too uh, late. Then now. it's me. All right. Well, they climbed up. Can I? Can I get this? I don't think I can quite get. Yeah, I don't have I don't this. Let's have any damage. Well, don't. It, make sure we get the chest first before we end. This. I'm actually gonna break that trap right here. You've got yeah. it. All right. No, I'm gonna no, die on it. Not die. I'm gonna. Hit it, long rest, and then loot. Yeah. But like, so if I think the scenario is not going to go that long, but I yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Next turn, I can get the difference. So cool, I will that sounds here, good. And I will. Uh, I've got advantage. I'll go on the elite. No one touch the normal one. Leave him alone. Uh, Why? It, oh, uh, don't so we can get the so we can get the thing. <laughs> Advantaged attack three on the elite. Good. Well, you only got one of those because. Yeah, it's it's range attack, right? Yeah. Uh, no, this is impaling eruption. It's a melee. Oh, oh, oh my yeah, god! Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Go, crank cart. Um, yeah. I'm going to just loot one and create. Hell yeah! Earth. Loot one and create Earth. Hey guys, I'm gonna break the trap this turn. It's gonna be all set. Okay. Hey, hey, you you said uh. I said, uh... You said you uh, were going to get the chest. I, if the trap was gone. Oh, oh, if okay. the trap was gone, then never mind. I'll just go break the trap then. Yeah, I don't I don't have jump. It's, uh, it's my only jump. Oh, right, 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 right. All right, I'm going to stun myself on it, and then long rest next round. Yeah, yeah, I got I got the chest now. It is gone. All right, cool. So I'm going to move to and just put a decoy right here. <laughs> that's that's fair. I'm just for the experience, really. Most of As the if... Experience. 
As if the Frost Demon didn't have enough to wonder now. It yeah, has just to... want to point out that I have 14 freaking experience right now. I just okay. Want to yeah, that's, 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 that's not bad. bad. And, you, and you still get to short rest and probably get that's... six more. I am yeah. short rest. That's, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 do, I don't know what you guys are doing. My experience is pretty solid. I did I did even better this time. Okay. I'm solid. not upset with how I did. Right yeah, I'm exhausting next round, but you know what? You're fine. That's worth it. Um, let's do... What am I going to do? I don't have a whole lot of lost cards left. I'm going to do... I can't, I can't use them right now. Wait, are we going to end the scenario this time? We're going to get the chest and then end the scenario? I think this is the I last round. I think this round. is yeah. the end of the scenario. Okay, yeah. it's the last round that I am going to do things that give me experience, probably? That yes. sounds like a good call. Okay. I'm going to do things that give me a coin. Maybe. Let's All run right. it. All right, run it. Okay. Spellweaver, take us away. Run the cards? Oh, yeah, run the cards. Um, producer's gonna eye for an eye and shield bash. Cragheart is long resting. Uh, Tinker is doing volatile concoction and toxic bolt. Uh, Spellweaver is Ember Frost and Frost Strike. Okay, so go ahead, so Spellweaver. Spellweaver will not attack the Frost Demon because I see that Tinkerer wants the XP for doing so. Uh, instead, they will go get the chest, and that's it. That's good. Good turn. Cragheart stunned. Yep, that's why I'm long resting. Yep. Uh, I am gonna take a little step and get a coin, and it, nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. Okay, and I am within range of this goober, so I'm gonna gain another three experience. Oh man, this is what a. And what the a, tinker, or, and your decoy does nothing. What an amazing class that this is. Okay, so this is an attack six at range two. I don't even care if it's <laughs> eight. <laughs> Eight with the uh, eight, yeah. eight damage to it, just wrecked. Yeah, if I miss, I don't even care. All right, and then I want to strengthen and. Well, do you, do you and just want to move two to a coin, or do you have XP off of that? It was a bottom it attack. It was a bottom attack. Oh, a bottom. got it. Oh wow, nobody's within range three of me, so I can't give anybody any stuff back. So yeah, I'll... I'm here. Yeah, but you don't have nothing in your discard pile. Oh, you do. I have yeah, two. That, that gives me another really. turn, man. <laughs> uh, no, because you can't long rest. You have to there's, long rest. There's to... no more enemies. We've won the scenario. That's okay, we won. So, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh -huh. Yeah, we did it. We're the best. Okay. All right. Yeah, th uh, honestly, this scenario, there's only a couple revisions. It's very, it's, it's so close to the original. So close to the original. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. feel like the Frost Demons may have been a little bit further off the door, but I'm not even sure about yeah. that. Yeah, th this one, this one was very familiar. I've seen, like, we've seen this before, and it looks pretty true to what we remember. So that's, that's pretty cool. Not, not really much else to say out of that. Honestly, the... I know before, uh, during Frosthaven testing, before we actually got the Frosthaven scenarios, we are like, let's test out class battles before we load the mod. We are like, let's test in a few of these scenarios, and Frozen Hollow was one of the ones that was chosen for a... Oh, yeah. Use this for balance. Uh, so I ended up running the scenario um, four times with, like, Frosthaven classes really early on, and we are using it for, like, uh, especially we during the early, early, early version of the Drill and Fist. And that's when I was like, dude, these classes, not great. But we're not going to get into that. But uh, <laughs> glad. it's so, They're so much better now. I don't want to say those classes are bad. They're amazing. The first right, renditions great were not now, great. Yeah. But, yeah. but yeah, so let's go over spoils. Hey, Bruiser, what you got? Well, I, um... Whew! May, may, uh, yeah, Damn. I mean... Damn. Damn, there, dude. Yeah, there's 11. And at this level, I believe that's 33 gold. Yeah, 33 gold. That's nice. That's so, a nice haul. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's, I mean, I feel good. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and 10 experience. Very good. 10 XP, right? I, I only got I three. probably 11. I think I forgot one, but. Yeah, I only got three coins, but I did get 13 well, experience. Well, of course, I got so. all of them. Yeah, you kept taking them, but that's okay. Three, three coins and 13 experience for the Craig Heart. Uh, Tinkerer. All right, so again, I only got one coin like I did in last scenario, but that's okay because. In the other scenarios wow. we only played, we did we got more money, so I could buy stuff. But yeah, uh, the most important thing here is you notice that the uh, I got 17 experience. So um, just like in Gloomhaven One, you won't only get experience by playing lost cards, but uh, mo a lot of the cards are now three experience instead of two experience. So you have a 12 card hand, and even though this is a longer scenario, um, I never felt like it was a risk to play a lost card when I played it. And so, yeah, 17 experience is really good. So, you know, really good. Yeah. And I, and I mentioned this in the other video. I think that this is 
slightly below average for what I've been yeah. expecting to see on I Tinkerer. Totally agree. I like, Tinkerer agree. just kind of keeps rolling out XP. And I yeah. think that's a, an intentional thing about the class, and I think it's a really fun thing about the class. Mm -hmm. You just can't yeah. possibly match their numbers with anyone else. I think so, too. And Spellweaver. Uh, well, I got my six coins, I got my chest, and I got nine XP. That's pretty it's a, good. It's a pretty good, pretty good haul. I'm happy with it. Yeah. So we feel pretty good about. I mean, obviously, we feel pretty good about the classes having seen them. So. Oh, many without times. question. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I'll tell you what. I don't think I ever went below eight hit points at any point this scenario. <laughs> yeah. We we we've been a little bit too hard on cruise control this time. One um, one thing that I one thing that I do want to talk about about my class because I did I did keep my cards the same in both. Uh, scenarios, and I, I, I just want to point out that this is a choice that I made based on this specific party and the, the threats that we had, as opposed to a choice about Spellweaver at these three being really bad cards. When I ran Spellweaver in the campaign, I ran Flameswell pretty much all of the time, uh, and I ran Aid for the Ether. I think about half the time. Ice Armor is a specific card for two players, so I think that that is okay that I'm leaving that one out. But I think Spellweaver in particular has so many fantastic options. I think all of their cards are viable based on who you've got in your party, what you're fighting against, and it only gets more as we get to higher levels, which you can go ahead and look that up. Those are posted here and there, um, but I won't talk about it here. Yeah. I'll, I'll post a link in the description. Yeah, um, yeah. I uh, thought it was awesome that Bruiser is finally the tank. Everybody thought that he should be, but... I had more than a little help from my friends, especially, well, you know, at least Spellweaver and Tinkerer. Uh, some other characters uh, were more interested in damaging me. Um, <laughs> what can I say? But, uh, but yeah, the, uh, the amount of shield we were able to pull, uh, the new bottom awarding strength, I think I dealt way more damage, uh, or probably about equal retaliate versus regular attack damage. I only really had one big attack round, and it was in the second room right here. Mm -hmm. um, just overall, uh, still felt great. I'm glad I swapped that card out this round. I was not actually starved for movement like I feared I would be. Um, overall, uh, just a fun, pleasant experience, even though I basically exhausted it. <laughs> I think I think my favorite thing about Bruiser out of all the starting classes is how difficult it is to pick what to lose on a long grass. Oh. I think this this yeah. might be true for all of the classes, honestly, but for certain out of the starters. For example, with Spellweaver, and this isn't to say that Spellweaver has bad cards, but Spellweaver has a lot of cards that kind of do similar stuff. Do I lose this AoE attack or that AoE mm -hmm. attack? Do I lose, you know, this single target that consumes an element or that single, you know? It's, it's kind of like you keeping your hand with a little of everything is very easy to do with Spellweaver as you start to get low. I gotta keep one loss, I gotta keep one attack. With Bruiser, you've just got such a big variety yeah. of what you can do that it's if you're gonna lose something, you're losing one of your tools because they have so many different tools. And it makes it a really interesting choice, not only for picking cards at the start of the scenario, but for every single rest, you're like, do I give up my one ranged attack? Do I give up this yeah. awesome bottom heal? Whatever you're giving up, you don't have an alternative. And I think it makes it a really interesting game. I mean, we did this off camera, but when I was figuring out what card I want, what <laughs> yeah. cards I wanted to swap out, we spent probably five, ten minutes just going over options. We didn't subject all your viewers to that, thank goodness. Um, but yeah, it's it was a rough choice, and I think it gets rougher if you play tank bruiser because the tank cards you really want all of them. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's 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 a good it's a good position to be in because. I feel like it's really nice to have those classes where every card feels like a different tool that it brings and serves yes. a different purpose because I feel like there was a lot of sameness that had like that was going on with um the um with with first edition with a handful of the uh cards. That doesn't this isn't to say that they all seemed very samey, but I feel like we have a greater breadth of tools in most of the starting classes. Like I think the the Cragheart, the Mind Thief, and the Bruiser for sure. I feel like the Scoundrel and Spellweaver 
I mean, the Tankerer also feels that way, but the Tankerer has such a big hand size that I feel like you don't feel like when you lose a card, it's not as felt as much. But the Scoundrel and Mind Thief also have similar things where, like, this is my cursed card, this is my, um, you know, like, invisible card, this is so and so forth. They have a lot of tools that the hand size are... Yeah, but they're, they're, they're at least still pretty similar, although I think the Mind Thief definitely has a greater breadth of tools than the Scoundrel. But the, the, the Cragheart... I think kind of you have you have enough that it's not as much but i feel like the difference between 11 and 10 the bruiser really feels it just a bit more than the crag heart and definitely more than the tinkerer and the spell weaver has a yeah. lot of samey stuff like the scoundrel so mm-hmm. yeah when you lose cards as the spell weaver i feel like it's almost you're almost choosing based on initiative not necessarily what the card does i guess you want to keep your fast and slow initiatives just to keep your alternation alternating uh- thing kind of going sometimes uh-huh. And it's really nice because Ember Frost. This is, I think, this card is so brilliantly designed, Ember Frost, because it's your fastest initiative by miles. It's the fastest initiative out of we've seen up through level five. It's the fast initiative even up through level five. Um, so it's also so far at level one. You get some options later, but it's your only non-lost element generator. So just by making this one card yeah. such an essential tool. You, you kind of always want to keep it around. And I think yeah. that's okay that you've got a level one card, and you know, you're already with Arriving Ether as well, a level one card that's quote unquote better than some of your level up cards, because you're just looking for things to to replace some of your your kind of more level cards, and then you have a couple that stand out. I think that's totally fine. I think Ember Frost does a really good job of that. It's an amazing initiative that you're always happy to have. It makes you an element. We saw how useful the shield was this scenario. And oh, I got it was huge. Oh, oh, as well. I, I think it's I think it's a brilliantly designed okay. card of just a, a highlight. Uh, Thanks, can I just Dandy. talk about the unsung hero of the scenario? Was this in enha- uh, both scenarios? <laughs> was this enhancement? Oh, feel? I, I love enhancement feel. I mean, every time I see it, I'm like, yeah. "Thank you, my dude." Enhancement yeah. field is. Uh, it just highlights so well what new Tinker is, which is just mm-hmm. we, we talked about the bruises very toolkit. Tinker is just all about that. Oh, they just so have good. so many different cool effects and this enhancement mm-hmm. field is uh, every single person I, I play with they're like you know this scenario it was so long they're just it, we're moving so much that enhancement field isn't good brought it anyway great card so fun put it down at the end had a blast it's just the tinker has so many fun tools that end up pulling their weight anyway it's it's fantastic yeah enhan- enhancement field is utterly ridiculous i remember because uh, my very when i when i first started playing when i first because uh, we're all we were just for the viewers we were all play testers for Gloomhaven 2, and the very first playtest session that I played, I picked the Tinkerer because I looked at all the different, uh, and, and it was it was different back then when we first started playtesting, um, but it was so much better than the original Tinkerer. I'm like, I've got to play this, and Enhancement Field was the same. It hasn't changed since the beginning of playtesting, and uh... that card was absolutely comically hilarious. The first scenario that we played. We did the exact same thing. We placed it, it was either on the door of the last room or right outside the door of the last room. And the same thing happened. Everyone ran up, Spellweaver yep. just obliterated half the room. Yeah. And then all the other, it was just, it was insane. So in this scenario, um, which is interesting because I'm not used to short resting as much, but obviously with a 12 card hand, you can get away with it more. Um, every single time I short rested, it was like, mm-hmm. I didn't even have to think. It was like, okay, I've got to protect Enhancement Field. Like <laughs> Like and it was and I pulled it one time and I'm like well taking a damage to get rid of it. I don't even care what I lose and I, the other ones I, whatever I lost didn't matter but yeah enhancement field is it's ridiculous it is it is like the, the tinker is a, a ton better than it used to be but enhancement field is t- to me this is just me um, it is the key card because you can do a it, it's, exactly, it's exactly what we did in the last scenario if you look at the other video that we recorded um, yeah I mean you just slap it down in the last room or near the last room. It's somewhere in the vicinity of the last room, and everyone just kind of crowds around and just yep. blasts everything, and it's it's yep. hilarious. And, and, the- and you've got good movement, you've got non-loss, good non-loss movement. You've got the the ten hit point uh, automaton that doesn't attack, but who cares because it has ten hit points. It's just <laughs> the Tinker is just nuts. I really really love this class a lot. It, it's and we, really and, we talk, and we talked about the variety of tools. There's going to be some scenarios. This one already had a lot of movement. We were able to make the enhancement field work. There's going to be some where you're moving around so much, there's just not a good place to put it down and you leave it behind. And that's great. And there's going to be some, imagine, you know, one of those the hold your ground scenarios where you start in a one room and all stuff spawns all around you and you just got to stay there. 
You drop yeah. enhancement fields on turn one, and you've performed about half the damage of the scenario just yeah. by putting down enhancement. That's so good. 100%. 100%. But yeah, that's yeah, that's you know, that's super wonderful. The only time it's not good is escort missions. And but, that's probably oh yeah, and that's, <laughs> that's a card. Well, the thing is, the bottom of it, right? I mean, the bottom of it is awesome too. Like the yeah, initiative, it is. Is slow, it's a good bottom. It with, you pair it with a fast initiative, and everyone gets plus one to their attacks if they're if they're adjacent to you, and that's like that's just insane. Yep. Well, Alice, any closing thoughts for us? Uh, are we ready to wrap up? I think so. So personally, I think the. Uh, this little intro to Gloomhaven 2nd Edition feels tangibly similar. Like, even though the scenarios are, well, this one's familiar, but clearly not this early in the campaign. Bandit Camp's obviously super new, but teaching, like, here's some new stuff and just a couple creatures. And having this, like, show off, hey, this is how you're, you better learn how to handle Retaliate because, you know, there's so much stack yeah. in this. I feel like this little introduction over time is going to be much better experience for new players and that uh they're still super enjoyable and even then unlike us playing on plus one is more of a standard thing because we don't expect normal new players to but we think at plus zero that these are going to be notably more manageable for people who haven't played the game uh and uh i'm actually really excited to like see people uh, enjoy the new campaign eventually next year so i i'm i'm i am thoroughly enthused so uh does anyone else have any uh ideas uh, the uh, only thing I wanted to say is just how, how fantastic scenario design is throughout. We only get to show you a small piece of it today. But again, <laughs> I got a chance to play through the entire campaign. There's been some small changes since I played, but pretty much the entire thing. I can think of one scenario out of the entire 80-something scenarios that we played. One scenario that I didn't like, and they changed it since I played it. So it is going to be a fantastic campaign experience it's not just about the classes here the scenarios are fantastic everything to support that experience is fantastic i for one cannot wait to play it again all right you heard it from here from our wonderful sam that this is going to be an amazing experience and if you don't have an amazing experience he will refund again just kidding no you're gonna, you're gonna love it yes talk to sam yeah talk talk to sam Sam's wonderful. He's right. done so much testing. But uh, thanks to all of you, and thanks to you, Sam, Greg, and Bill. Um, sounds like names I would have made up. Like, yeah, I'm playing with these guys. It's Sam, Greg, and what's <laughs> just saying? It's uh, uh, Sam and uh, Greg and B- Bill. Like, Bill? <laughs> yeah, it just, it just kind of anyway. But the three of you are amazing. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, it'll be wonderful. Maybe maybe we'll uh, have some other shenanigans sometimes. But uh, this is super great. Thanks all of you for joining us, and thanks. Uh, all of you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful um, afternoon, day, whatever it is. And I'll have a link to the campaign in the description. So be sure to check out Gloomhaven 2nd Edition. Like and subscribe.